bars. Where do we start? I was brand new today, man. Is that an expensive bumper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started off as a young kid skateboarding and snowboarding, and that's all I did. It really like all have to thank my older cousin. He was like getting into cars and like already been skateboarding when I was a little kid. I didn't really pay attention to the cars because it wasn't like relatable to me. So I play like Gran Turismo and like Need for Speed and all the old video games, and I was drawn to the old rally cars. I got my first Subaru and that's when like the bug hit. One sewer grid. That's all it took. Fiberglass body kit, Massachusetts Road. What is it, tie those liners and run it? Yeah, we can go take it for another. The type of cars that would make me want to build a car, it always kind of like end up at the drift car. When I started with the Subarus, with the big wings and the hood scoops and the crazy aero, that same thing that drew me to that was exponentially more interesting in the drift cars because they're all so unique. It has to look cool and it's got to make me feel a certain way. So the drifting came natural. When I first started seeing drift cars and drift videos, I was like, oh, this is it. With having like my, my my Subarus, it was like everything else. Like I, I, I have it, I see it, I build it, it's cool. And then it gets it to my garage. And then what, I can go take it out for like the weekend. And then what do I do with this thing that I just built? I took it to the drag strip and that didn't really interest me. It's just kind of like a useless thing to me. Like the thrill of building it like kind of ended when it's done and then there's nothing to do with it. So the drift cars, you build something and it looks sick and then you get to go use it and learn how to do something. It's kind of the nostalgia thing about it, I think, that's like the coolest part about it to me. Making a car look like how it should look back in the 90s, it can be fast, it can drive good, but if it doesn't look cool, it's not interesting to me. It doesn't make me want to have it. Having a track close to me and having people around me that were into it and doing it, I was just like, this is it. This is the only thing that I would want to do in cars. Cars are just like, a, like I just have to do it. You know what I mean? It's like something inside me, I can't get, oh, get out of it. If I tried, I, I've had tons of cars and like a full blown competitive drift car and a diesel truck just to tow it. And it was like a full-time job running this thing. I like these things that are, they suck so bad and it, it, it takes so much time and so much money. It's like I can't not do it because when I'm doing it, I'll burn myself out. When I'm not doing it, I'm just bummed. It's like having a part of you missing when it's not there, I guess. And like the car thing and skateboarding, without it, it sucks. So I guess I just kind of deal with it. And the reward of seeing the project done at the end of it and getting to use it and getting to go drive with your friends, that outweighs the money and the time and the headaches and the late nights and no sleep. Driving is kind of like skateboarding. Just punishing yourself for so long, it's hard and you have to do it over and over and over and over. You have to love it to some extent because to build something and spend all your time on it and then just go ruin it, you gotta be crazy to still do it. I don't know what it is inside me that just likes to suffer. A car is a car, it's just a, an object, and I feel like that's a pretty surface level thing. It's like a skateboard, a skateboard is a skateboard, it's a toy, but when you dive into that world deeper, it's like the people and the times and the experiences and the places you go, that's like what keeps me, me going, I guess. That's what makes it interesting.